Welcome back to Success with Steven. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Amex business goal card. And uh, just uh, excuse me for this video. I might actually go back and make another video on this one, but I was just approved for it yesterday. Did some research and there were a couple things that I found out that I thought was interesting. And I really was curious to see if other people knew this information as well. Um, so if I missed anything, again, excuse me, I may come back with a more in-depth video. The more that I use it, the more that I learn. But this is really just for um, letting you know the data points that I needed to get it and some things that I just didn't know about the goal card that is very, very interesting to me. So we'll start with, excuse me, we'll start with uh, first a couple of things about this card. Now, the American Express business gold, from what I learned that I didn't know, you don't necessarily need to have a business in order for you to get this card. You can actually get this card as a sole prop with no business whatsoever, which is very, very interesting. Um, I didn't know that you can actually um, get 10, Am 10 Amex cards between uh, one account. So that's between personal and business. Also, if you do a hard inquiry, there is a five in one rule and it's different for credit cards and for charge cards for charge cards on American Express. Um, you have to pay them within 30 days. And there are also some um, 60 day term options. The other one are regular credit cards that revolve, but it depends on which one that you actually have. Um, but that five in one rule, I believe it applies to um, the charge cards. But again, still learning about the rules. I plan on applying for another Amex in the next five days. And I'll come with a video for that as well. It's probably going to be the um, the Amex uh, Prime card for Amazon. So I'll let you guys know how that goes as well. Now, what I did like about this card and the main reason why I got it, um, you get 4X points depending on your category. And again, I've been mentioning today, I'm recording three videos in one day, just because there's so many things I want to talk about. Um, I like the reward points. I like the points. I like if I'm spending money, I can get cash back. I wanted to actually get this as my personal card, but then I would have had to keep that hard inquiry and it would show up on my personal credit report. So the great thing about the business one is it doesn't show up on your personal credit whatsoever. And as you know, we can remove the hard inquiry so I can have no hard inquiry once I get this one and my other one. And you only and I only get one hard inquiry for um, each Amex car that I apply for going forward. So I won't even get a hard inquiry for uh, the next one that I that I plan to apply for. So you earn 4x membership reward points in two select categories where you spend the most and that's um, on that's up to one hundred and fifty thousand in combined purchases from these categories each year, which is great. You're never going to probably spend that much um, in those. each, And you you might I don't know, <laughs> you might end up spending that much. Who's to say how much you're going to spend? But you also get three X membership reward points on flight and prepaid hotels. And I look at the points as basically percentage, like three percent. 4%. That's how I see it. In those categories that I pick, I get 4%. Um, on this card, one of the things that people might not like, which is why I saw a lot of people go for the uh, the blue Amex, this one does have a $375, a, a $75 annual fee. Each employee card is $95. So I did get um, one card and I also did get an employee card. So I will have a $375 annual fee. Plus, I will also have a $95 annual fee for the employee card. I think that the rewards make up for that most definitely. And personally, I know that I'm going to be able to spend $10,000 in three months. So automatically, I'm going to get 150,000 points for um, spending $10,000 in three months. And so if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to double check it, but I believe that's going to be the equivalent of $1,500. So I'm going to spend 10,000, which I was going to spend anyway, and get 1,500 back 
which I plan to put into my um, Amex high yield savings. All of my rewards that I get from my credit cards, I only spend money on credit cards now. I don't use debit cards for anything. I take those, I put them in a high yield savings. By the end of the year, I'll probably have six grand in reward points. And this card, is that's the main reason why I wanted this card. But the business one, again, it doesn't show up on your personal credit, so it's even better. One thing I also found out about i use walmart plus walmart plus members enjoy perks um you get a credit for your walmart plus membership account that's pretty cool and then the categories that you have u.s purchases at restaurants gas stations um which is going to probably be a lot of the ones that i actually use restaurants and gas stations and then uh your wireless services you know your phone bill uh, I am curious because it just says wireless telephone charges made directly from a wireless telephone provider. I have a uh, Cox for my Internet. And as some of you might know, if you're familiar with Cox or if you have Comcast or such, um, they have phones now. So can I put my cable bill on here, too? Like my Internet bill? I'm curious, right? So th I'll check up on that and see if that actually counts towards this category. But that would be great. The more things I can find. And it's uh, U.S. purchases made from electronic goods, retailers and software cloud systems. I have a lot of accounts that I've signed up for that I'm paying uh, monthly uh, for services and softwares and clouds and things like that. So, hey, you know, a lot of that stuff is good for travel. Um, I didn't really look at this too much. There's no foreign transaction fees, which is good. Um, you can book a flight and use the membership reward points for travel. I feel like uh, there's other cards if I want travel. American Express has a Delta travel card that gives you a good amount of points. So I probably would go for something like that if I wanted to book travel. You still get three times the points if you do that, but yeah, I'm not really gonna be worried about using it for that. Um, now, let's talk about the application process. So, this is a quick tidbit. If you go on the American Express personal side, you can actually um, get pre-approved. If you get pre-approved on the personal side, I think it pretty much lets you know on the business side, you're going to be approved. So the great thing about it is you can go get, I, before I apply, I pre-approved for a card on the personal. They're like, you're approved. If you want to continue, just continue. I didn't. Instead, I went to the business side like, oh, well, if they pre-approve me for the gold personal, they'll pre-approve me for the gold business, right? No problem. So I kind of already knew. So, so just so that you know, if you're hesitant, again, a little trick, go on the personal side first, check that one, and then come back to the business. I'm not saying that that guarantees anything. I'm not saying that. But for me, it worked. And I believe that the two things are correlated. Um, the other thing. I was asked what was my credit limit for this card, and I didn't know this, but for the Amex, there was no credit limit. So right here uh, where it says financial flexibility and the increased buying power for large business purchases, in the Amex account, it actually asked me how much do I want to spend on a purchase? I put 25000 It said approved. I'm like, oh, okay. I put 50000 it said approved. When I went above 50,000, it said I not approved, like I couldn't spend that much. So for all intents and purposes, since I don't actually I don't actually have a limit on this card, let's just say that my limit is 50,000. Excuse me, because I don't have a limit. It doesn't say that. It just says flex it just says flexible limit, which is, you know, um it's pretty cool. Because basically, it'll, as I use it for purchases, I guess it'll fluctuate with my purchase. So I think what I'll do is do more research. And then in 90 days, I might come back and say, oh, I understand this a little bit more. I increased my um, I increased my amount that I wanted to spend. And then that's and I can come back and let you guys know. But, yeah, I don't have a limit for the card. And again, that's something that I personally 
did not know, but it's interesting to me to me now. Uh, APR is right around the um, right around where the prime rates at. So that depends on your credit wor uh, worthiness. Um, my business has been open for 29, 30 days. So that lets you know, didn't matter really if it was a brand new one, it gets, it goes off of personal, mostly uh, personal credit score pulled from Experian, nowhere else. Uh, it was a 759, 759 score. Um, I only had, I only have one hard inquiry besides this one, but I'm going to remove it. As soon as I get the other one, I'm removing this one. So I'll go back down to just one. Uh, and that's the other trick about business credit cards. When when it's business, you can remove those hard inquiries because there's no account associated, right? Nice little trick. Um, and the only thing that I really think that I want to go over because we talked about the rewards, the uh, incentives that you get on the initial opening of the card. Um, I I guess I want to go over the difference between the charge card and the credit card, which was to me one of the most important things that I did not know. So I'm on the um, American Express charge cards versus credit cards and what's the difference? So it says from hassle-free payments of your bills to your day-to-day -day shopping, credit and charge cards have become a convenient mode of payment. However, there's a difference between how both the cards work and knowing about the difference will help you properly plan your purchases and spending needs. Because I, again, um, I didn't know this and I thought it was the same. So, uh, a credit card lets you pay for a purchase without cash. Credit card offers a line of credit or a loan that allows you to make purchases and pay back the amount later. If you fail to pay back the balance in full, you are charged an interest. Okay. That's what we traditionally know. A charge card works like a credit card, but without offering the option of making a part payment, you are required to pay the charge card in full by the due date. Charge cards offer a no preset spending limit. A no preset limit means that your charge cards are approved based on your spending pattern, uh, fi your financials, your credit record, and your account history. So um, unbeknownst to me, the card that I got approved for was not a credit card per se. It was a charge card. Now for this card, because I plan on using it like a personal for points, it, that actually works lovely for me because I never plan on carrying a balance on this card at all. I plan on paying it in full and knowing that I have that option to be able to spend up to that amount, it makes perfect sense for me and my life. But as I continue to get other Amex cards, which I plan on getting probably two more, I think it's the, the blue one. Um, and then I plan on getting the Amazon one. And then if I get one for flight, maybe the Delta. But so far, that's it. And depending on how my situation changes, maybe the platinum because they have a reward category for uh, marketing. And I may end up doing a lot of marketing like TikTok ads, Instagram ads, and it gives you a nice bonus. At that point, I'll be getting paid for my own marketing with the rewards. That may be something I do in the future, um, but that's contingent upon however business goes for me. I mean, I think after that, it's pretty much straightforward. And now I have a better understanding of how that works. So uh, it has a preset limit for the credit card. Charge card, no. Is part payments allowed? Yes. Charges interest? Yes. Um, annual fee? Yes. Uh, influences your credit score? Uh, yes. And then change char charges late payments? Yes. And yes. Um. One of the weird parts was I'm pretty sure that even though it says uh, charges interest, it says no, but I definitely know when I filled it out, they showed me the APR, like the prime rate. So I'm not really sure what, I, like maybe it doesn't charge because you're supposed to pay it in full. But if you didn't pay it in full, I'm assuming that's when it kicks in. But um, yeah, that's a little bit weird. But hey, so um, I think that was the most... um. I think that was the one thing that I just really was like, oh, this is interesting. I've never seen that before. So uh, that's the one thing I wanted to make mention of. And of course, uh, knowing that now you have the option of not having to have a business, you can still get this card. You can also, with one hard inquiry, you can get multiple cards with the five to one rule. You can get one every five days. You can have up to 10 cards on one account between personal and business. 
Um, so that's also a great thing to know and um, the rewards that you get for it, man. So my suggestion is you look at the American Express cards, you decide which one is conducive to your lifestyle and you find the reward system that works best for you. And you start redeeming these rewards, man, start you a high interest yield savings account and start putting these, you know, you're spending this money anyway. You might as well make something for it. And again, this is even prior because this again, this is a business credit card that I'm going to use for, uh, for personal use. Um, but rewards when I get the Amex blue, that's going to be the one I'm using for business expenses. And then I'll be able to go over that later. That's going to be a later one. I can guarantee that one is a credit card. It's not a charge card because it has a introductory zero percent um, APR for 12 months. So clearly you have to be able to carry a balance if you're going to only be doing the minimum payment for that time. So uh, that is the one that once I'm ready, I'm going to get that one for sure. And then I will definitely make a video for that one. I'm also going to probably make a follow up video for this. This is just a uh, just a quick introduction to, you know, you again, getting this without a business or getting this with a new business and the requirements that it took to get it and just some things that I just found out myself. And I hope that for the people who did not know, like me, this was very helpful to you. And if you're interested in getting this card, it encourages you to go with the pre-approval um, method first on the personal side, knowing that you're pre-approved with no hard inquiry. And then going to the business side if you decide to go that route depending on what the what the perks are if it makes sense for your lifestyle you can then know with uh you know at least have confidence that oh well if they approve me on this personal side they'll approve me on the business side and again the business one uh it's, it's a charge card so utilization isn't a problem it wouldn't be because utilization wouldn't matter you're going to pay it off in full or regardless but for um not reporting so that way it doesn't shorten your your history and not to mention uh, again remove that hard inquiry once you got it so um i hope this was helpful to you uh drop a a comment if you guys have any questions because you may have a question that i may find the answer to or you may spark something up I, I love you guys questions i love the questions i can't lie you like my comments is great because literally I'll read a comment or something that someone asked me and I can make a whole video off of that one comment. So um, I get a lot of good information uh, from the questions that you ask because then it forces me to go do research and then come bring my findings back to you, which again, it's like an ecosystem of nothing but like you're giving me something and I'm giving you something back. So it's mutually beneficial for the community. So definitely uh, leave a comment, uh, ask questions, maybe things that you knew because some of you may have this card or uh, your Amex Gold personal, anything that you know that I don't know that you want to tell me so I can get some more benefits. Um, again, I'll continue to do research and more than likely there will be a, a part two to follow this up with more information and more details. And uh, with nothing else left, you guys have a great day.